Well, we just finished watching Hating Breitbart, a movie about the, the legendary Andrew Breitbart. Melissa Clothier, you helped uh, bring this to the Woodlands, Texas, the, for its opening here in Texas. Tell us a little bit about how this came together and why we're here in the Woodlands, Texas today. Well, you know, we were looking at cities to extend this day because it, two weeks ago it opened in Washington, D.C. and uh, St. Louis, Missouri, in Dallas which it did very well in Dallas, so we're competing with Dallas, so hopefully we'll beat Dallas, hopefully. And, um, and so what we wanted to do in L.A., I didn't say L.A., and so we wanted to find out other communities that would be uh, welcome the message and get word of mouth going, and I thought the Woodlands was the perfect place. Well, it was a great venue out here, and you had a really good turnout tonight. People we talked to uh, were very excited about the movie. Um, you know, I'd followed Andrew Breitbart a lot, and I learned a lot from this movie that I didn't know. What you've actually interviewed, Andrew? What were your impressions of the movie and of the man in first in real life? Oh, well, I mean, it's really actually kind of hard watching the movie because he's so alive in the movie, and that's the way he was in person. Um, I got to know Andrew about three and a half years ago, and followed his career. I was one of his first, I interviewed him at one of the first gatherings he was at, at in uh, Los Angeles actually. And um, so I've seen, I saw him grow as a person and saw him really get to know the activist before he, the Tea Party even really, you know, had gotten taken off. And saw how he, how the Tea Party had changed him and how the people he'd met had changed him and saw um, how he had helped embolden and encourage people to be the new media. And we're in a completely different world now media-wise because of him. One of the things I thought this movie really showed was how the mainstream media distorts the reality of what happens in a situation and how they will ignore the facts in order to proceed forward with their storyline. And I thought this movie did a really good job of of showing how the, the new media that Andrew Breitbart helped create actually is where you can find the real facts of what happens in a, in a particular story. Well, you know, the new media consumer has to be a whole lot more self-motivated. We have to check things out ourselves and um, become the fact checkers. And so the great thing is, is that because there's so much more available to us, we're not at the mercy anymore of just believing what we're told. And we can check it out. Not only that, with something like Twitter, if I feel that something's been unfairly done, which I did just this last week, I can personally go after the guy who wrote the crap and say, you're factually incorrect, correct the record. And, um, they can choose not to do it, but everybody sees that they're not telling the truth, and so they're not. The lies are not allowed to stand anymore. So, in addition to being a watchdog on public officials and what's happening in the news, the new media actually acts as a watchdog on the mainstream media. Of course. Here's the thing. I've been a blogger for seven years, seven and a half years now, mm -hmm. and um, when I write something, if I'm full of it. I have people in the comment section correct me, and I put the correction at the top. And I can't get away with I not having a good reputation. If I lie to the people, they're not going to listen to me anymore. And so I have a built-in mechanism for staying honest. So many people in the mainstream media are surrounded by people who are so committed to the narrative instead of committed to the truth. They're committed to a way of seeing the world and they want you and me and everyone else to see the world that way. And so they will let stand things that are not true and really have no motivation, no economic motivation, no motivation to change. And even as they're dying, and the mainstream media is dying, the Houston Chronicle, what, they just lost a ton more in circulation again this year. And still, they refuse to to print and report the truth in all sides of the story. And so, you know what? Guess what? As they die, we live. You know, we're seeing a lot of examples of that in the local races where they're distorting the facts about one candidate or another because they want to move forward a particular agenda or storyline. This movie is going to be here for at least a week now. It so is. we want to encourage everyone to come out. If you have any doubts about what the mainstream media is doing to the news, come out and watch this movie. It really shows what the distortions are and where you can find the truth. 
Melissa, thank you very much for helping bring this to the Woodlands, and we look forward to the movie's success. Thank you so much for having me, and thanks for promoting the movie. It's, everybody should see it. Here at Dale Tony, you just watched the movie Hating Breitbart here in the Woodlands, Texas. This is the initial screening of the movie. What you th What were your reactions to the movie and your thoughts of Andrew Breitbart? Well, here's, here's a guy that's a real American. I mean, the guy stood up. He's standing up for truth, and he's standing up for what's right in this country. And uh, it's about time that we had a, a media that actually would tell the truth and look for the truth. And that's what this guy's doing. And it's phenomenal. I can't believe we lost him. I can't believe it. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a complete loss for this country for the lost of uh, but, but a fabulously well put together movie. Uh, very funny uh, and enjoyable, given a, given a real good look and in, in an insight into who this guy really was. For somebody that thinks the mainstream media accurately portrays the news, do you think they would learn something about watching this movie? Yeah, yeah, they might have a good idea of seeing the, the both sides of the equation here, because they they illustrated three or four different situations where he was in uh, being called a liar and then proved out that he wasn't a liar. That actually the mainstream media that actually tweaked the video and, and made him out to be the liar. And uh, it, it, the way it's laid out is beautifully done. So I understand. I understand you had a uh, an encounter with. One of Frank Bart's business partners recently. Oh yeah, just just his, his partner. He was actually in the movie, but he's a really great guy, and it was good to see that you've got people that have actually been so affected by him, by Brett Hart. Right. Um, he told me that he, he used to write for HuffPost and everything else. He was as, as far far left a, a, a loon as you could get, and uh, he said, then I met Brett Hart, and everything changed from there. So. Well, Dale, thank you for sharing your uh, your experience with the movie with us and our viewers at Texas GOP Vote. And we, we appreciate you being out here. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks.